Since the dawn of time, humans have been pushing the frontiers of technology to drive progress. With the help of technology, we were able to build the pyramids, cure diseases, and land on the moon. From the Industrial Revolution to the Information Age, new technologies have undoubtedly transformed our lives. Today, we're at a new frontier of technological innovation, one that can make possible the things only dreamt of in sci-fi movies. So whether you're an investor or an entrepreneur or someone who's just trying to be financially free, here are eight emerging technologies that you can't ignore. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin here. If you're new to this channel, I document my personal finance journey to provide inspiration for young professionals who are looking for more meaning in work and life. So if this is something you want to tune into, consider subscribing so that together we can be financially free faster, do more meaningful work, and lead more fulfilling lives. Number eight, 3D printing. 3D printing has been around for decades, but it surged in popularity and usage only in the recent years. In its early years, 3D printing was incredibly expensive, but with improvements in the technologies of both the machines and the materials, the cost of 3D printing has been steadily declining, making it a lot more cost-effective and accessible. The worldwide market for 3D printing products and services was valued at around $12.6 billion in 2020, and the industry is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 17% between 2020 and 2023. 3D printing is gaining traction because it's so simple and easy to understand and it could be applied to every field imaginable. One of the most obvious applications for 3D printing is seen in manufacturing and construction. Traditional injection molded prototypes can take up to hundreds of thousands of dollars and take weeks to produce. The same prototype can be made in just hours and at a fraction of the cost with a 3D printer. This makes way for a much more efficient and cost-effective way of mass customization rather than the one-size-fits-all mass production as we're used to today. 3D printing, of course, has already made its way into critical infrastructure. In 2016, the first pedestrian bridge was 3D printed in Spain and represented a major breakthrough in civil engineering. In 2017, the first completed residential building was 3D printed in Russia. In the world of medicine, 3D printing has evolved into bioprinting. This is where cells are combined to create tissue-like structures, imitating their natural counterparts to create medical devices like prosthetics. Bioprinting also allows for the 3D printing of artificial organs. This can solve organ failure issues in patients a lot faster. The potential range of applications for 3D printing is honestly limitless, and it's becoming more cost-effective and accessible by the minute. Within this decade, we can expect to see 3D printing fully integrated into our lives. Everything from our shoes, to fashion, to jewelry, to hardware, to pills, and even our food can be 3D printed. Number seven. Cloud technology. Cloud technology represents a revolutionary way to store large amounts of data. Basically, once your data is in the cloud, you can access it from anywhere, in any computer or any device. So it's no surprise that organizations transitioning into remote work are quickly adopting cloud technology. According to Gartner, worldwide public cloud service revenue will grow to 331 billion by 2022. Gartner also estimates that by 2022, 2022, 75% of all enterprise databases will be deployed or migrated to a cloud platform. The pace of cloud adoption over the past few years is best illustrated by the impressive growth of Salesforce, a cloud-based CRM tool that is quickly transitioning organizational data from paper onto hard drives and now into the cloud. On the home front, there are now nearly a billion users of Apple's iCloud, a service originally described by Steve Jobs as a user's digital hub. More and more organizations and users are also putting their information onto Google Drive, but the rise of cloud computing also comes with its challenges, the main one being security. To that end, organizations need to mature their cloud strategies, ensuring that they have the right organizational design, skill development, and processes in place to realize cloud computing's full value. Number six, 5G. 5G is the fifth generation mobile network 
And in addition to incredibly high speed, 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together. This includes machines, objects, and devices, essentially paving the way for the Internet of Things. 5G wireless technology is also meant to deliver more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability, and a much more uniform user experience. According to a landmark 5G economy study, 5G's full economic effect will likely be realized across the globe by 2035. By then, 5G would be supporting a wide range of industries and potentially enabling up to $13 trillion worth of goods and services. 5G can also usher in new immersive experiences like virtual and augmented reality with faster, more uniform data rates and lower latency. 5G can also enable new services that transform industries like the remote control of critical infrastructure, vehicles, and medical procedures. Another defining capability of 5G is that it's actually designed for forward compatibility. In other words, it's future-proof, and it has the ability to support future services that are unknown today. But perhaps one of the most anticipated applications of 5G is the Internet of Things. 5G is meant to seamlessly connect a massive number of sensors in virtually everything, and it can connect people, objects, and machines all together. As of today, 5G has been deployed in over 60 countries, and it's being adopted quickly by many, many more. Number five virtual and augmented reality. Virtual reality headsets take over your vision to give you the impression that you're somewhere else. Examples include the PlayStation VR, the Oculus Quest, and the Valve Index. Whereas virtual reality replaces your vision, augmented reality adds to it. AR technology combines digital data with the physical world. If you're familiar with Pokemon Go, you would already know how augmented reality works. Accessibility on smartphones is one of AR's biggest advantages. According to DG Capital, mobile AR apps can reach a 3.5 billion install base by 2022. So it's no surprise that more companies are looking to incorporate AR in their business practices. Augmented reality is on the verge of reshaping online and offline shopping. IKEA's Place app, for example, has been allowing consumers to see how furniture would look and fit in their homes. In addition to shopping and gaming, AR and VR technology can be used as a more effective solution for many other things, like shopping for real estate or interior design. It provides a better way of experiencing tourist attractions and museums, even conducting business meetings and facilitating remote work. The VR and AR market is expected to be $192 billion by 2022. Number four. Blockchain. On October 31st, 2008, several hundred members of an obscure mailing list comprising of cryptography experts and enthusiasts received an email from somebody calling himself Satoshi Nakamoto, who sent out a nine-page white paper describing a currency system he calls Bitcoin. It would become the world's first application of blockchain technology. Today, you've probably heard of Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Dogecoin, but what's less talked about in the media is the technology behind all of these digital currencies, something called the blockchain. Blockchain is pretty complex, but essentially it is a distributed ledger. This is basically a database that is shared, replicated, and synchronized among the members of a decentralized network. Every record in the ledger has a unique timestamp and a cryptographic signature. This makes the ledger an auditable, immutable history of all transactions in the network. A key characteristic of blockchain is that it's decentralized, meaning that the ledger is governed by a whole network of supercomputers and no central authority is involved. While blockchain was first introduced to the market as the technology that supports digital currencies, its practical uses can actually extend far beyond that. Take financial services, for example. Blockchain technology would allow trades to be settled in minutes rather than days. In supply chain, blockchain technology would allow the flow of goods and payments to be tracked and logged in real time. According to TechJury, only 0.5% of the world population, or around 40 million people today, is currently using blockchain technology. And while it's got a long way to go, this number is expected to quadruple in the next five years. In 2030, 80% of the world population is expected to be involved with blockchain technology in some way, shape, or form. 
Number three. Artificial intelligence. According to IBM, artificial intelligence leverages computers to mimic decision-making and problem-solving abilities of the human mind. Almost everywhere now, we're starting to see AI-driven recommendation engines. This includes things like autocomplete on Google or even the YouTube algorithm. AI uses past behavior data to help discover data trends that can be used to develop better user experiences and more effective upselling or cross-selling strategies. It's like how Amazon gets you to spend more money with those personalized recommendations. We've all seen and even live with AI-driven speech recognition technologies. This includes Apple's Siri, Google Home, and Amazon Alexa. In the customer service realm, we're seeing online chatbots replace customer service agents to answer your frequently asked questions. In finance, we've seen the rise of robo-advisors. We're also seeing AI-driven, high-frequency trading platforms that can make millions of trades a day all without human intervention. AI technology also enables computers and systems to derive meaningful information from digital images, videos, and other visual inputs. And based on these inputs, it can take action. And at first, we might think of photo tagging on social media as the main application of this, but this capability actually has much, much more farther reaching applications. Potential uses include last mile delivery drones that require no human intervention, and the really anticipated anticipated AI-powered full self-driving. Number two genomics and genetic editing. Genetic editing technologies give scientists the ability to change our DNA. This allows genetic material to be added, removed, or altered in particular locations of the genome. There have been several approaches to genetic editing that have been developed, but most of them are still in clinical trials. A recent development is CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR presents a much faster, cheaper, more accurate, and more efficient solution than existing genome editing methods. Like a film strip, CRISPR technology can edit away genetic mutations that cause diseases such as cancer. According to Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, only 5% of monogenetic diseases are treatable today. With gene editing technology, potentially all monogenetic diseases can be treated as well as many polygenetic diseases. One of the main benefits of genetic editing is that it provides personalized medicine as opposed to the one-size-fits-all approach that we're used to today, but may have a lot of adverse effects for some people. It's unimaginable to think about the immense potential this kind of technology can have on our healthcare system as well as our lifespan. And while healthcare is the most obvious application for genetic editing, this technology can also be applied in agriculture, farming, livestock, and crops. This makes for much more sustainable farming and higher food production, which can potentially increase food supply for over 800 million people by 2020. And number one, quantum computing. Quantum computing represents a new age of computing, and it can change the world. A regular computer has bits that exist in zeros and ones. A quantum computer has qubits, which can be either or both simultaneously. Quantum computing, like all the aforementioned technologies, can be really complex to try to understand. But the most important takeaway for quantum computing is that these computers can deal with a lot of uncertainty and make decisions in uncertain environments. That could be anything from predicting the financial markets to improving weather forecasts to modeling the behavior of individual electrons. And like gene editing, quantum computing is also in its early stages of development. It has the potential to transform Form medicine, break encryption, and revolutionize communications and artificial intelligence once it gets widely adopted. Companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft are racing to build reliable quantum computers, and China has invested billions of dollars into its research. In October of 2019, Google made headlines when it proclaimed that it had achieved quantum supremacy. That's when a quantum computer can perform a task that a regular computer can't. But before commercial scale quantum computing can be a thing, researchers and scientists still have many, many hurdles to clear with this technology. Nonetheless, the potential of quantum computing is limitless, and it's definitely something we should pay attention to in the next 10 years. Of course, the number of 
emerging technologies that are present today extend far beyond than just the eight that were mentioned in this video. There are so many great disruptive technologies that are present today, and all of them present so many investment or business opportunities. Some emerging technologies that weren't mentioned on the list include electric vehicles, batteries, protein production, and new sustainable ways of farming. But the point of this video is to challenge you to always educate yourself and be informed. The purpose of this channel is to provide inspiration to those of you who are pursuing financial independence so that you can be empowered to do more meaningful work in your life. And constantly learning, educating yourself, and informing yourself is just part of that journey. And with that being said, I really hope you found value in this video. If you have, please make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Caitlin. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.